today we are doing a requested video for our Fluffoween series. So some of you guys wanted to know how you can have a safe and fun Halloween trick or treating with your pet. So I'm going to tell you how you can do that today. And I have all of my notes written down in Danny's little YouTube notebook. <laughs> So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your pet is safe and comfortable and happy. So you want to put them on a leash so that you can keep an eye on them and keep them safe. And also make sure that they are friendly. Danny is super friendly and loves everyone. So he is the perfect pet to go trick or treating with. If your pet is nervous around other people or not as friendly then maybe don't go trick-or-treating with them because you don't want to go up to someone and scare them I know it's Halloween but that's kind of rude so if your pet isn't as friendly or sociable as Danny is then maybe you guys could have a Halloween movie marathon at home instead so yeah that is the first tip that we have for you so make sure that your pet is well behaved and friendly so that they don't scare anyone or make them feel uncomfortable because you don't want that. Um, the next tip is do not feed them candy. <laughs> it is very bad for them. So what I like to do instead is make up a little treat bag of Danny's favorite treats. <laughs> And this is a mixture of these two. Um, one is chicken flavor and the other one is wild rabbit flavor. So I just mix them and put them in here for him. And I take these with me as Danny's treats so that <laughs> if he wants to do any tricks for people, I can reward him with these. And also if any of you want to feed Danny some treats, I have these all ready for you. He's very gentle. He will not bite you. He will just lick it out of your hand. So we are going to Yale Town this year for trick or treating. And we're not going for the candy. We're just going to get Danny some pats and love because you guys know how much he adores that. So if you want to come and feed him and pat him and hug him and take photos then just follow him on his Instagram which is Danny Direwolf and we'll let you know what time we're going to be there on Halloween. Um, the next thing is if your pet is not comfortable wearing a costume don't force them to. Danny usually does not wear a costume and because he looks like a wolf we usually choose wolf um, characters <laughs> to dress up as so this year we're Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf so it's not necessary to put your pet in a costume um, next thing I like to do is take all of Danny's essentials so in this little bag that looks like a picnic basket, I have a bottle of water for Danny and this is just tap water. So after Danny drinks all this water that's in here, which he usually does when I take him out, I can just fill it up again at a tap or a water fountain. So I like to take water for him. And I also have this collapsible bowl that's just made of plastic and it uncollapses like this. And then you can fill it with water for him. It's really convenient and I definitely recommend getting one of these. You can get them at any pet store and they're really easy to take with you. So. Yep, bring water and a bowl for your pet because you don't want them to get thirsty. And then I also have Danny's toilet bags. These are very important because you always want to clean up after your pet. So that is everything that I like to take for Danny. <laughs> So remember to make sure that they're safe and comfortable, take water for them, take some treats, 
take toilet bags. Um, not necessary to wear a costume, but if they like wearing a costume, then go ahead. And also, do not feed them candy. <laughs> hey guys, we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. The camera just ran out of batteries. So those are the tips that we have for you if you want to go trick-or-treating with your pet safely. And the last thing we want to tell you is to have lots of fun with your pet and yeah, just enjoy yourself. So we hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> if you um, have any other tips or if you think we missed something, let us know in the comments below. We hope to see you in Yale Town for Halloween and until next time, stay fluffy. Bye!